the saying that it's better to give than to receive, right? Well, now a new study says it's true. Compassionate acts among spouses may have more benefits for the giver than the receiver. Let's get our chief health editor, Dr. Nandy, to weigh in on this. I love this. What's it all about? Well, first of all, I want to make sure my wife is listening because I have a birthday is coming up in two months. So the current <laughs> Dalai Lama has said that compassionate concerns for others' welfare enhances one's own effective state. So. The team of psychologists at the University of Rochester decided to test this out. For two weeks, they had 175 newlywed couples keep track of compassionate acts and emotional states in a daily diary. Now, researchers found when a spouse was the giver, they benefited roughly 45% than the receiver. So uh, the person receiving didn't even have to t notice the kind of uh, the kind act for the giver to benefit emotionally. So it's interesting. Yeah, 45% increase, that's a pretty big number there. What sort of health benefits do, do we experience when we give? So, so Joanne, so if I get a gift from my wife, then I will respond apparently with compassion. It makes me happier. And then studies have found that it lowers blood pressure, increases self-esteem, and can lessen stress and depression. You don't have to be married to benefit. So my prescriptions on ways to experience the joys of compassion are, number one, do a small act of kindness for a friend, a stranger, or someone at work. Be sure to notice how you feel afterwards. Also try little things, and we've all done this, like letting someone go ahead of you in the checkout line or buying the person behind you coffee. You'll feel a sense of joy that money really can't buy. Also other compassionate acts include change your personal plans for someone else and showing love and tenderness. You'll feel firsthand how generosity really trumps selfishness in the long run. And lastly, volunteer. Now, study after study has shown the effects of volunteering, how it improves well-being and life satisfaction. Yeah, you often feel like you do get more Absolutely. out of it than the person that you're helping. Someone may be watching saying, you know, I'm just really not all that compassionate. Can you kind of learn it or cultivate it? That's a great question. So yes, yes, you can develop compassion. To increase these feelings, try something called loving kindness mediation, where you actually repeat phrases like, may you have joy and ease. Research shows that changes in your brain structure and demonstrate that you can actually learn to respond mm -hmm. to others with care and desire to help. Just saying that actually helps. It seems like, you know, is that all it is? But it's part of the problem. It's part of the solution, actually. All right. Dr. Nandy, thank you so much. we yeah, got well, some work to you. do, I think, right? Yeah.